In Shayla's class, which value is larger? The probability that someone is wearing jeans or the probability if someone is a female that they're wearing jeans? In this lesson, you will learn how to determine whether events are independent by using conditional probability. Let's review. Events A and B are independent if and only if the product of the probability of A times the probability of B is equal to the probability of A and B. Also, the conditional probability of A given B is written as the probability of A given B. It is the probability that event A occurs given that event B has already occurred. In Shayla's class, are female and genes independent? Well, let's look at the, this in light of the formula that you just looked at. The probability of being female is 12 over 21 because there are 21 students. The probability of wearing genes is 14 over 21 because as you can see there are 14 students who wear genes. The probability of being female and wearing genes is the 8, that's the intersection, divided by 21. So is 4 over 7 times 2 over 3 equal to 8 over 21? Sure it is. And that means that those two are independent. So we're looking at the same class again. And in Shayla's class, which value is larger? The probability of someone wearing jeans or the probability of someone wearing jeans knowing that they're female? Again, these two are independent. That's what the previous slide showed. The probability of someone wearing jeans is 14 over 21. There are 14 out of the 21 students are wearing jeans. The probability of someone wearing jeans if they're female? Well, of the 12 females, girls, eight are wearing jeans. And these two fractions are the same. This leads to a important result. Events A and B are independent if and only if the conditional probability of A given B is the same as the probability of A. So here's a math box to indicate why this is true. The first equality is true because of the definition of conditional probability. And the second one is true because the two events are independent. And this is why this particular rule is valid. Looking at the class again, are male and genes independent? Well, the probability of being male, there are nine boys here, six wearing genes and three not. So the probability of being male is nine over the 21 probability of male wearing jeans. Well, if someone's wearing jeans, there are 14 students wearing jeans. Six of them are male, so that probability is 6 over 14. And these two fractions are equal, and that means that the two are independent. It's easy to confuse the order of events and to think that events A and B are independent if only if the probability of A given B is the same as the probability of B. But that's incorrect. There are two statements that are correct. One is you can say events A and B are independent if and only if the probability of A given B is the same as the probability of A. Or equivalently you can say that the events are independent if and only if the probability of B given A is equal to probability of B. The examples that we'll look at will help you understand this better. So Bailey counted the number of students in his class who are wearing sneakers. Is being male independent of wearing sneakers? Let's look. The probability of being male is 12 out of 26 because there's 12 boys in the room out of the 26 students. Probability 
being male if you wear sneakers? Well, there are 16 students who wear sneakers, 8 of whom are male. Are these two fractions equal? No. That means that these are not independent. In this lesson, you have learned how to determine whether events are independent by using conditional probability.